Today I am going to show how to pass data between two forms in a Windows Forms application. So here we got two forms. One is a parent form and another one is a child form. From the parent form to the child form, if we have to pass some data, there are different methods available. The method I am going to use is I will set a constructor with a string parameter. So if the object of the child form, if that is available here, most probably you will be creating new inst instance of the child form like this, new child and here I will pass the data. So that data will come here, which I can use within my child form. Another, another option available is something like you can have a property here and from here you can set that property with some st string or integer or whatever data type value you want to set. These are the two options available for passing data from parent to child. But when, when it comes to passing data from the child form to the parent form, it is not that straightforward from here to here. The reason here is something like most of the, in most of the cases you will have an instance of the child form here within the parent, but uh, it is uh, very unlikely that you will have an instance of the parent in a child. Of course you can do that, you can pass an instance of uh, the parent into the child and use that to set some data. But the method I am going to employ is a bit different. I will create a delegate and uh, out of that I will create from this delegate I will create an event here and that event will be fired with some data. So uh, this child dot that event plus equal to if it is if the parent form is subscribing to that event then because of the wire up that is done data will be passed from here to here now I have created a windows forms application so I got uh, one form uh, by default I am just creating another form I'm adding a new Windows form that I'm going to name it as form uh, child form. Okay. And uh, this form one, I'm trying to rename it as uh, parent form. Now in the parent form, I just add uh, one button and a text box. creating an event handler for the button click event there I am just uh, trying to launch the child form as a dialog window Now this portion should work if I just click the button that uh, second form that is a child form should pop up uh, but uh, we are not passing any data at this point right now. Uh, now in order to pass data as I explained earlier in the slide we just have to go to the child form. This is child form basically what I am doing is right click view code and uh, what I do is I copy this constructor. It's important to note that when you create a new constructor, you need to have initialize component over there or you have to call the zero argument const constructor. Now I, I just copy the zero argument constructor and I am trying to add a string parameter here. 
you, you can you can add anything actually any data type is possible like a string parameter or you can have an object uh, that is dependent on, that is dependent on the kind of data you want to pass from the parent form to the child form in my case i'm happy with a string or you can have multiple arguments as well if you want to pass separate units of data now going back to the parent form now we are in the parent form please note this and now I have a new constructor. This is the old constructor, the zero argument constructor. Now I have a new constructor with a string parameter you can receive. So I am trying to pass some data from the parent form. For that, I will use a text box data. Okay, fine. Now I'll go to the child form. Let me put a breakpoint here and I'm running the project. It takes some time. My Laptop is not very fast. Okay, yeah, here it comes. Now let me try to enter some data here. I am going to use that in my uh, child form, but I don't have a text box or anything. For the time being, I'll just uh, set the caption list dot text equal to str. And let me execute now. See, this is a child window. It has got the same name as hi because I set it. I pass some data. How to use that data is up to you. I am closing that. I think I need to make it a bit proper. I am adding a label. Also, for future purpose, I am adding a text box as well in advance. And a button. Okay, now going back to the code. Instead of uh, uh, that caption, I am just setting the label. Like label dot text equal to str now let me remove the breakpoint I'm just showing the application running I entered hello world here click the button it's coming and it's showing up in the label so this is a way how we pass data from the form parent to form child. Now what I want to do is, I want to pass data from the child form to the parent form. Uh, in this case, the issue is the earlier case uh, of passing data from the parent form to the child form. If you go to the parent form here, you can see that there is an instance of the child form in the parent form so we can pass the data through the constructor that method is not really feasible here if you go to the child form it does not have any reference of the parent form so i am going to show another method which you can use in multiple scenarios like uh, i am going to create a new delegate this delegate has to be created 
somewhere in the same name space otherwise you'll have to refer to the name space and all I have to define the signature so I, it is a void uh, written type and a string type uh, uh, so I just give it as uh, message so this is the delegate which I created right now it has a written type of void and a, uh, it is accepting one parameter that is string you can have multiple parameters also you can have a object or any other data type as well it's up to you to make things simple, I am just assigning only one parameter here, that is a string value. <coughs> and after that, I am trying to create an event uh, that is matching the signature of this delegate. So my event name is data sent. <coughs> it's of type data sent handler. So I'll go to the designer of the child form. Now I have a one button and text box already added. So I'll double click on, on this button to create an event handler, uh, to create a click handler. So here I'll do that uh, exact line of code for invoking that event. So, in order to fire the event, it is very simple. This dot data sent with a proper parameter. I will use the value in the text box. Okay, whatever you entered in the text box, that value will be sent back to. Okay, something. Okay, yeah. yeah. That value, whatever value you entered in the text box in the child form, that will be coming here, and that will be fired. Uh, as um, I mean, when the event is fired, that will be sent to the subscribers as a parameter. So, in order to uh, register the event, we have to go to the parent form. I'm coming to the parent form right now. And before showing the dialog, I need to register. This step is very, very important that uh, before showing the dialog, you need to register. Otherwise, even when the events are firing, um, uh, the actual subscription might not be there. And that will cause uh, no data coming in here. So I'm, what I'm doing is child form dot data sent and uh, I just had to type plus equal to and you can see some plus tab option that is a visual studio productivity feature I just click tab then I, it created automatically one event handler for me basically what I'm what uh, it has done is uh, basically what it has done is uh, when the it is a subscription that we have to we are doing and when the event is fired from the child form this method will be called and this message will have some data that is passed from the child form so I will uh, set this uh, value somewhere else for that I will go to the designer again I will just add a label here Now the label says this dot label one dot text equal to 
whatever message came in. Okay, that is done. Now we are good to go. I enter some data here. One, two, three. Click here. Okay, it's showing one, two, three. Also, if I enter some data here, see, and I click button, I send data back to the parent form. Yeah, this way we are able to pass some data from the child form to the parent form. We did it through the event invocation because event in the child form is being subscribed by the parent form it is receiving when the event is fired but uh, certain portion of code is important we have to put some code here like if uh, the data sent event is uh, subscribed by somebody only then invoke it this is a this is a stand uh, i will say invoke event just adding a comment this is a standard method me, uh, method of invoking events. Before invoking an event, you have to check whether any subscription already is there. Only if uh, somebody registered to that event, in that case you raise that event, otherwise uh, you don't have to. So, otherwise it will throw some exception. So that is the way it is. I will just reiterate again. I will come here to the parent form. I have a button here. If I do something, uh, uh, if I click a button or anything, then it will come to this portion. There I am creating a constructor. I mean, I am instantiating an object. Through the constructor, I am passing some data. And uh, also I am subscribing to some event in the child form. And then I am showing it as a dialog. Coming to that uh, child form, I have, a, I have a new constructor that is made. I created this constructor. Uh, this is a placeholder for parent form to send data. Also, I created a delegate, and from the delegate, I created one event. One thing to note is, uh, in our, a common mistake is some um, uh, most many people will, or at least some people will put this delegate declaration code inside the class. Uh, that is, uh, uh, that will not work. Uh, better way is to keep it outside and create an event here inside the child form and invoke that event when something happened. Uh, yeah, when something happened, when I say that, I don't really have to click a button to send that data back. So what I'll do is, I'll go to that designer text box. I have so many events here, I'm clicking this button here text changed event, I am just adding an event handler for that one. So when the text changes, this method will be, will be fired. I am putting the same code there. And in the parent form, I am just putting a breakpoint in that method here. I'll start it. So this time, if I type something here, button, yeah, it fantastic, it works. And then if I type something here, it comes here. The message is now F, and it shows up in the child data form. So we can data from here. And one, then now the text is affirmed. That's the way it is working. Something really interesting is something like you can see, like you know, uh, if you uh, click, click this button and you enter whatever you typing in this form, that will be, that will be automatically updated. Here. Hello. So we are passing data from the child form here to the parent form. So I have explained both the cases. I have explained both the cases and that is the demo portion of that. Thank you.